So in today's video, I'm gonna give you the exact step-by-step -step walkthrough of what I tell my beginner self to do if I was opening up DaVinci Resolve for the first time. First, I'm gonna explain the absolute bare essentials you need to know to take your first edit to completion, and then I'm gonna share some tricks and settings you can use to save yourself a ton of time. The essentials in completing your first edit. So when you first open up Resolve, it should look like this. Go to New Project, name your project, and Create. Now by default, I believe you'll be in the cut tab. So if you go down here and hover your mouse on these different icons for a few seconds, the different tab names will pop up. So I pretty much am always working in the edit tab when I'm creating my cuts. So you're gonna go to the edit tab. We're gonna go up to the media pool. If you don't see the media pool, go up here and toggle it on. It'll say no clips in the media pool. So we're gonna import our footage by going up to file, import, media, and then find your clips on your computer. Select them. You can hold shift to select multiple at once and press open. Choose don't change. You can also just simply drag all your clips into the media pool as well. Now we have our footage imported into DaVinci. The next thing we need to do is go up to file, project settings, and adjust the timeline resolution. If you're making a horizontal video for YouTube, you wanna keep it at 1920 by 1080, or if you filmed your footage in 4K, it'll be 3840 by 2160. For social media vertical edits, simply toggle on this button, use vertical resolution. For frame rate, you can leave it at 24. Okay, now close this. So now we're ready to begin the actual cutting process. Select one of your clips in the media pool, hold shift, and select the bottom one to highlight all of them. Now drag them over here into the timeline, you might not see all the clips at once. If that's the case, go up here to adjust the zoom of the timeline view. Remember this feature because you're gonna be using it a lot. Okay, so now you have all your footage in the timeline. I like going up to this magnet and toggling it off for this specific part. Now go here and select the blade tool and you're gonna hover through your timeline with your playhead, watch the clips and use the blade tool to create cut points around your best takes. Go back to the mouse tool, select your clips and audio and press delete on your keypad to get rid of them. If you need to be more precise about your cut, you can zoom in and drag the end of your clip forwards or backwards to add or remove frames. Now when you have all your best moments cut up like this, go up to edit, delete gaps, and now all of your clips will be snapped back to back like this in the timeline. Now to add effects and transitions, go up here to the effects tab. In toolbox, you will see video transitions and DaVinci provides you with a ton of built-in presets. You simply drag them over your cut points to add them. You can also drag the ends of them to change the length. So for example, here's a cross dissolve between my clips. Quick side note, DaVinci's built-in transitions are okay, but if you want more polished transitions, go to the link in the description to download 86 drag and drop transitions I've built out over the last couple of years for my own editing work. Now if you want to apply effects, go here and simply drag it on top of any of your clips. If we want to add music to our edit, we simply drag it from the finder into the audio section down here. You can adjust the volume of your audio by pulling these waveforms in tighter to the middle. You can also drag this ending tab in to create a fade out. Finally, to export this video, go down here to the Deliver tab, give it a file name and location to save to on your computer. For format, if you want higher quality but larger file size, make it QuickTime plus H.264. If you want a smaller file size but still fine quality for online, make it MP4 and H.264. Make sure you change the resolution and frame rate to match your project settings. Now press Add to Render Queue, and then go up here and press Render All. And there you go, now you know how to make your first edit in DaVinci Resolve. But if you're going to edit more than once, I suggest following along for this next part to help save yourself a ton of time. My Speed Editing Workflow. Go up to DaVinci Resolve keyboard customization. Over here, search for Razor and press the X to delete the current hotkey. Replace it with the letter A. Search for Ripple Cut. Delete the key and replace with Q. Search for Zoom In, the one that's under View, and change it to the plus. Search for Zoom Out under the view and change it to the minus. Now select each of those keys on this virtual keyboard and delete any of the other commands they have associated with them. Now go up here to these three dots, save as new preset, name it whatever you want and close. Go up to timeline and make sure selection follows playhead is toggled on. Now with all of these toggled on, you can use your right hand to hover the playhead through your timeline and use your left hand to press A to create a cut point and Q when you're hovering over a clip to completely delete it.